Right now at 6, Vernon County honors fallen police officers with a memorial service. And local middle school students raising money for a good cause. We're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Emily Brown. Ken is off tonight. Authorities in Rusk County are asking for help finding a missing person. The Rusk County Sheriff's Office says 61-year-old Scott Link from the Chatech area was reported missing by his family yesterday. If you have any information on Scott's whereabouts, call the number on your screen and ask for investigator Steve Gronsky. Well, it is National Police Week, and today the Vernon County Sheriff's Department is remembering our fallen officers. Officers from around Vernon County gathered for their annual police memorial service, reminding the public of the sacrifices made daily by the officers protecting our communities. Retired Police Sergeant Ron Piota emphasized the importance of remembering those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. As you know, as time passes on, names sometimes uh, are forgotten or memories are forgotten. It's important to talk about the sacrifices that the men and women of law enforcement have made so those names and memories do not go unremembered. Tomorrow is National Peace Officers Memorial Day. In 2023, 137 officers were killed in the line of duty, four of those being from Wisconsin. Flags are flying at half staff today in honor of Mung Lao Veterans Day. Governor Tony Evers created the state holiday on May 14th, 2021 as a way to honor the sacrifices made by Mung Lao veterans during the Vietnam War. In a statement, Governor Evers said these veterans are an important part of Wisconsin's story and history, and they should be honored like any other veteran. Wisconsin has the third largest Hmong population in the United States. Well, Greg, I drove my mom to Minneapolis Airport today, and it was clear and sunny the entire way. Please tell us we have more of these days ahead of us. I think we got one more day and then we are going to get back to some rain, but the good news is we're not seeing any widespread washout type of forecast in any of the next really seven to eight days. But for today, still some haze out there. You can kind of see it right now. This should make probably for a really good sunset for lacrosse area. We don't we had the clouds yesterday. They kind of hindered it a little bit, but with that light haze out there right now, air quality issues just for northeast Iowa. There's your current air qualities. We're in the green, some yellow, some moderate conditions, but those areas in the gray, they still got the air quality alert to 11 p.m. That's in northeast Iowa just for some unhealthy conditions, but overall it has improved for this evening. Really clearing skies, some haze out there getting back down to the upper 50s with a light east wind. Same story for Eau Claire, clearing skies. A lot of the temperature, I think they'll fall off a little bit quicker than last night. The temperature getting down to the mid 50s as we get to 11 p.m. Otherwise outside right now, just very little clouds to the south. That's that system that's keeps into our south and nothing to the north. And overall, most of the areas are in the upper 60s to low 70s. Really overnight, it's just the temperatures will begin to fall off. I got the visibilities there, but the temperatures will fall off off until once you wake up in the 40s for most locations, there could be a few spots that do get into the upper 30s, so it will be a little bit colder than we were this morning, but we will remain dry, and that's a story for Wednesday too. get outside and enjoy it because that's really the last dry day I think we'll have. We will have showers and thunderstorms coming back in for Thursday. I'll kind of time that out a bit later in the broadcast. Now you're tempting us with that boat behind mm -hmm. you. A few of us are going to call into work tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, thanks, Greg. The Republican-controlled Wisconsin Senate has voted to override nine of Governor Tony Evers' vetoes. The mostly symbolic move comes less than six months before the November election. The overrides include bills combating PFAS pollution, requiring a new post-election audit, and setting a population goal for gray wolves. But despite the Senate's votes, all of Evers' overrides are likely to stay in place. That's because both the Senate and Assembly must have a two-thirds vote to override a veto, and Republicans are short the supermajority in the Assembly. Democratic Senator Mark Spreitzer said lawmakers were wasting time on overrides that Republicans know won't be sustained. Oakleaf clinics in both Menominee and Rice Lake are now open for business. According to a release, the Rice Lake Clinic is open with providers from the previous Prevea Health Clinic. Over in Dunn County, Oakleaf Clinics and Foot and Ankle Clinic will share a former Prevea location in Menominee. 
That Oak Leaf Clinic has also hired former Prevea staff and includes a team of midwives and an OBGYN to expand women's health services in the area. The Ho-Chunk Nation and Alliant Energy teamed up today to plant indigenous fruit trees in Toma. Volunteers planted 300 seedlings of fruit and nut trees on native Ho-Chunk land called Whirling Thunder. The project is part of Alliant Energy's goal to plant 1 million trees in communities they serve by the end of 2030. It was important for both groups to plant trees that represent the history and culture of the Ho-Chunk tribe, including nanny berries, wild plums, shagbark hickory, and service berries. One Ho-Chunk member says the work done today will make the harvest extra enjoyable. Everything tastes better when you process it and take care of it too. But um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful stuff and a lot of energy comes from all of these foods. So especially when you add a little maple syrup to it too, it's, it's pretty good. Sure does sound good. Alliant provided $15,000 towards the tree planting. The company has a goal of 80,000 volunteer hours this year. The United Fund for the Arts and Humanities, or UFA, is kicking off its annual fundraising campaign this morning. This year's theme is Ripple Effect. UFA co-chair Dominique Lukey says the theme represents the impact one donation can have on multiple groups. UFA represents 12 different organizations that are focused on bringing the arts and humanities to the Cooley region, including the Lacrosse Community Theater and Cooley Chordsmen. Lukey says UFA spends time fundraising so their members don't have to. It's hard fundraising and it takes a lot of time and these organizations already have a full plate with their education programs, with their special events, with their performances. So having UFA is really beneficial because it lessens the load for them so they can focus on their programming. Money raised during the campaign will be donated to all 12 organizations. Since its founding in 1983, UFA has raised almost $5 million. If you'd like to donate to the Ripple Effect campaign, just visit UFA.org. A group of Onalaska Middle School students donated money from a class project to a cause close to home today. The Life Skills class teaches kids with learning disabilities skills like budgeting, doing laundry, and cooking. As part of the class, the students opened up a snack shop to learn more about accounting. The students got together and decided to donate part of the shop's profits to Every Child's Dream on Alaska's inclusive playground. We had a couple options of some places in the community that our students voted between and they honestly chose the All Abilities Park. You know, it's, it's appealing to them because it's a place that they will be able to enjoy, their friends will be able to enjoy. The Life Skills class donated $500 to the park. Knutson says she plans on bringing back the snack shop next year. You can learn more about the All Abilities Club on the Onalaska Lions Club Facebook page. The key witness back on the stand in former President Trump's criminal trial. This as Trump is being held in contempt for violating judges' orders. Everyone's vision needs are unique. At Shopco Optical, our caring team of professionals will work with you to ensure your vision is at its best. Shopco Optical can help you experience every detail, color, and breathtaking sight in clarity. Here's the choice. Eric Hovde, fourth generation Wisconsinite, self-made businessman, job creator, and Eric's foundation provides homes that save thousands of children in need. Career politician Tammy Baldwin, 38 years in politics, voted with Biden 95% of the time. Her votes caused prices to soar, and she refused to secure our border. Career politician Tammy Baldwin, she's not working for us anymore. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Where there's a flooded basement, there's a solution. Where there are wet spots or musty smells, there's an answer. Where wood damage or dry rot is stealing home value, there's an expert. American Waterworks. For wet basements, wood damage, and effects of dry rot, American Waterworks professional crack repair, waterproofing, sump pumps, and vapor barriers provide long-lasting solutions to tough problems. Wherever moisture problems surface, there's an answer. American Waterworks. Schedule your free inspection and estimate today. 
we provide specialty level care in anything from wisdom tooth removal to dental implant placement to more complex corrective jaw surgeries. Trying to make it as easy of an experience as you can go through. We're the most experienced clinic in the region for these uh, types of procedures. If you or your family member needs wisdom teeth removed, to tooth extraction, dental implants, you found the right place, we'd be happy to see you here. We work closely with your general dentist, have a discussion with your dentist about a referral to us. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. With the prosecution's star witness back on the stand again today in Donald Trump's so-called hush money trial, some high-profile allies of the former president came to show their support. Michael George reports from outside the courthouse in New York. Former President Donald Trump entered court Tuesday with some high-profile Republican allies, including House Speaker Mike Johnson. I am disgusted by what is happening here. Johnson later spoke outside the courthouse where he attacked the credibility of the prosecution's star witness, Trump's former lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen. This is a man who is clearly on a mission for personal revenge and who is widely known as a witness who has trouble with the truth. Trump's defense team also tried to undermine Cohen, a convicted felon during cross-examination. Earlier, Cohen testified that payments he received from Trump were reimbursements for the $130,000 he paid adult film star Stormy Daniels to keep quiet ahead of the 2016 election and not for his legal services. The presumptive GOP presidential nominee insists he did nothing wrong. So I had a legal expense and I marked it down as a legal expense. Trump is facing 34 counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors say he engaged in election fraud by classifying the reimbursements as legal fees. You have the 34 documents, but what you have to get is the nexus between falsifying those records, misdemeanors, into a, an election violation. In a setback for Trump, an appeals court upheld Judge Juan Mershon's gag order, preventing Trump from talking about witnesses and jurors in the case. Trump has been held in contempt for violating the gag order 10 times and has been threatened with jail for future violations. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Now, Cohen is the prosecution's last witness and ended his direct testimony by saying he regrets his past work and association with the former president. Social media apps have taken a lot of blame over the years for spreading misinformation, especially when it comes to politics. So the findings of a new study may surprise you. Researchers at Stanford University and other institutions worked with Meta. They found that a majority of the 35,000 participants who stayed off of Facebook and Instagram for six weeks before the 2020 presidential election did not have a change of heart about Joe Biden or Donald Trump when it came time to vote, nor whether they turned out to vote. They were also less likely to believe misinformation about the election. A co-author of the study said another one of their findings was how little impact Facebook and Instagram seem to have on polarization polarization and divisiveness. Well, you may have been seeing air quality alerts when checking the weather recently. The reason why and some expert advice on navigating this summer safely when we come back. Yeah, we're losing some of the smoke and the haze out there, but we are going to gain some precipitation here in the next couple days. I'll time out when to expect it, how much, if any severe weather will come along with it. That coming up on your first one weather update after the break. Last year, our daughter blessed our family with this cute little nugget. We're supposed to leave our next generation better off, but because Washington politicians have spent our money recklessly, he starts out owing hundreds of thousand dollars of debt. It's wrong. The spending needs to stop. Unlike career politicians who drive us deeper into debt, I'll fight for him and for your children to have a better future. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message.
Get an 11% rebate on everything in Menards. Weather Screen is a water repellent deck stain that protects wood while allowing its natural beauty to show through. Get a gallon starting at $27.98 after rebate. Complete your staining project with Ultra Advanced. It's a stain and sealant in one that can be applied to damp wood, allowing you to clean and stain your project in one day. A gallon of semi-transparent stain is $34.48 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Asher Last and Exteriors is committed to craftsmanship, innovation, and outstanding customer service as Western Wisconsin's window and door replacement experts. Our superior quality, energy-saving windows and doors from the trusted brand of Renewal by Anderson are skillfully installed by certified technicians and backed by some of the strongest transferable warranties available. Save up to 22% with zero down and no interest or payments for up to 18 months with Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors. Brought to you by Asher Last and Exteriors. Are you looking for a high-paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, and so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work-life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Cooley Carpet has always been more than just carpet, and now the name will reflect that. Cooley Floors and Design. Along with the brand new name, there's a fresh new look to the showroom. Don't worry, Cooley Floors and Design still has the same great team at the same convenient location. Ready to elevate your space? The design consultants will take the time to discuss your dreams, needs, and your budget. Cooley Floors and Design will accompany you through every step from expert advice to professional installation. Visit Cooley Floors and Design on Mormon Cooley Road for a fresh new look. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Well, wildfire season is underway in Canada, and the drifting smoke has diminished air quality in some places near the U.S. northern border. After another blazing start to wildfire season in Canada, the drifting smoke has affected air quality in parts of the U.S., like Iowa, here in Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Experts are saying that even when summer skies look clear, small pollutant particles can impact the air quality index and daily life. The air quality should impact how you plan to go outside, how you plan to behave when you're outdoors, how long will you allow yourself to be outdoors. Poor air quality has a lot of health consequences for every single person. He added that older adults and those with conditions like asthma should make sure they're protected when air quality is poor, and especially children should limit time outside. Well, we did deal with some smoky skies yesterday, but we saw some improvement today. Now the question is, is that going to continue? Greg has the answers, of course. Yeah, we're going to see some improvement really because we're going to have a system come through that's going to mix some clouds and precipitation that should kind of clean out the atmosphere. So that's the good news. But we still will deal with some haze tomorrow, kind of like what we saw today. The showers come in late Wednesday night. The Thursday morning commute will be impacted. We do have storms in, on Thursday, but it's going to be a lot of hit and miss in the afternoon. I think most of the areas will probably remain dry, and it's really because of that system out to the west. This one that's down to the south provides some cloud cover that we had yesterday. It's beginning to push off to the east. Then we have a system. It's kind of two parts. This northern piece that's going to come from the Dakotas, and there's one that's kind of off the picture in the southwest corner. It's going to come through. Not a very strong system, not a lot of moisture to work with, so we're not expecting a lot of precipitation nor a lot of severe weather to come with it. But for tonight, clearing skies, I think that'll allow the temperatures really to fall off fairly quickly because we won't have the cloud cover we had yesterday, at least for southern areas. Well, as you wake up tomorrow morning, you'll probably be more into the 40s, mid 40s. There will be some pockets probably in the upper 30s to the east. They even got some frost or freeze warnings going on for northeast Wisconsin, kind of about our viewing area. Then tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. The winds start turning around to the southeast. Those cloud cover you see out to the west, just high clouds, so that'll begin to increase towards the afternoon, but really won't stop the temperatures from rising well up into the 60s and near 70 by noon. Afternoon, low to mid 70s, a little bit above average to where we should be, but then you see the southeast East wind begin to pick up as that system begins to approach. But tomorrow evening still remains dry, and all the way probably through midnight, we're going to remain dry as that system still holds off to the west. It will take some time to kind of moisten the atmosphere up that we're going to get some showers probably after midnight. Now, this looks at the smoke and through the entire atmosphere, and right now we're seeing a lot of it aloft, not at the surface. So, as you can see, overall, it kind of thins out and pushes to the west, but then gets pulled north with that system approaching. So, we will see some 
hazy skies probably tomorrow. By Thursday, it should mix out, and I think we'll definitely start to see clearing of the atmosphere a little bit. Here's that system coming in the morning. One piece to the south, one piece to the north. So as you see, not a lot of precipitation as it comes through, but we will see a time period in the morning where we'll see a, a line of showers and maybe a thunderstorm come through. In the afternoon, we might see some sun come out as the main front kind of uh, really inches its way towards our area. So we might see a redevelopment of a few showers and storms, but I think the evening commute will be a lot more drier for most areas than actually wet. And then going into Friday, it looks actually dry conditions that we get the winds to turn around. So rainfall amounts, this is what we kind of expect. If you're outside of a thunderstorm or thunder shower, probably maybe a tenth to the 25 hundredths, we might see a few areas get close to half inch if we get a thunderstorm, but it's not going to amount to too much. Otherwise tonight, clear skies, temperatures will fall off, a little bit of haze, 40s with some upper 30s in some of the colder locations, and tomorrow a little bit warmer, low to mid 70s for most locations. Cloud cover increases in the afternoon, but it remains dry through the evening commute. The showers come in late Wednesday night into Thursday morning with some more redevelopment Thursday afternoon. Friday looks like drier conditions, but the winds turn around, so we're going to start warming up towards the weekend. And those precipitation chances for the weekend, I think most areas, the majority of the time, will remain dry, but we might mm -hmm. deal with a front that will come through sometime on the weekend. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, though. No. Yeah, we no. can manage. All right, thank you, Greg. Coming up in sports, action on the softball diamond. The Toma Timberwolves are looking to finish conference play undefeated for the second straight year. Kate Overton has the highlights after the break. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. I always knew that I wanted to be a mom and choosing that it was the right time was just a really exciting moment. It turned out that my baby had a diagnosis that would be incompatible with life. It wasn't just that my baby wasn't going to survive, but it was at risk for hemorrhaging when I delivered. I met with my doctor and we went over the risks and benefits. I made a really informed decision just like you would for any other procedure you're going to have. I'm a nurse and I'm an example of a woman who had to have a procedure to be able to save my life and to not watch my baby die. And now Donald Trump supports laws that could take that procedure away across this country. 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated and I did it. Without that procedure, I would not have been able to get pregnant again. But the good news is a year later, I had my son. If Trump gets elected again, I fear for women. ABPAC is responsible for the content of this ad. Your Touchstone Energy Cooperative knows safety is the backbone of reliability. To deliver the power you need means doing things right. So we can continue to provide reliable energy and peace of mind. Because safety runs through everything we do. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. I'm Kate Overton filling in for Rob Schiff. High school softball postseason starts up this week, and one team to look out for is Toma. The Timberwolves are 18-2 on the season. They've already locked up an MVC title, and today they were looking to finish up a perfect conference season for the second straight year. There's nothing better than bringing your pet goats to the softball game. Toma going up against the Aquinas Blue Golds. First inning, Toma already with one run across. And with a runner on, Avery Chapman pops one out to right field. Should be deep enough to score a run, and it is. Toma takes a 2-0 lead. Aquinas trying to answer, but Toma's Anna Wall locked in. She had a 23 strikeout game over the weekend, and she picked up right where she left off. Striking out a number of blue golds. Toma was leading 2-0 in the fourth. We'll have a final later tonight. 
For the eighth time in program history, the UWL Eagle baseball team is in the national tournament. They earned an at-large bid yesterday during the selection show, but they'll be hosting the first round regional later this week at Copeland Park. UWL enters the postseason with a 31-13 record, with many of the guys on the team having a lot of experience after they made a run to the D3 World Series last year. But it's a new season and the Eagles will start it off this Friday at 11 a.m. when they host Bethel University. If they win that, then they'll take on the winner of Benedictine and Coe College. We've got a big playoff game later tonight. The Timberwolves looking to regain control of the series after two straight losses means we're tied at two. The Nuggets have all the momentum and now they're going back to Denver for game five. Only five teams in NBA history have won a series after losing the first two games at home. The Nuggets are looking to become the sixth. Anthony Edwards did his part in game four for the Timberwolves, but now they're going to need everyone to step up if they want to win the series. Tip off isn't until 930 tonight on TNT, but I'll have an update at 10. Brewers, they're looking to get back into the win column after dropping their last two games. Milwaukee fell to Pittsburgh yesterday 8-6, to six, but those two teams are right back at it tonight at 640. The WNBA season also kicks off tonight, and Caitlin Clark will make her professional debut as the Indiana Fever take on the Connecticut Sun. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. My son, Nick, took illicit fentanyl, which cost him his life. And knowing that my son is never coming back is the worst thing that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. Tammy Baldwin's been with us every step of the way. She just got a major bill passed to really crack down on fentanyl. She doesn't just talk the talk, but she actually walks the walk. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Tammy Baldwin fighting this fight. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Are you or a loved one having troubles getting in and out of the bathtub safely? Has the high cost of remodeling left you without options? I'm Tim with Tri-State Tub to Shower Conversions and I've been serving the Tri-State area since 1992. And I would love to make your bathing experience safe and affordable. We use your existing tub and remove the front section for easy accessibility. And for an affordable cost, call today. La Crosse Fireplace Company has proudly worked with many homeowners throughout the years. But you've also seen our heat and glow fireplaces in local businesses. From a large waiting area to a small cozy setting for customers to relax and enjoy themselves. La Crosse Fireplace Company will help create the warmth and aesthetics perfect for your business. Stop into our showroom and see the various heat and glow fireplaces. La Crosse Fireplace Company, because your place is by the fire. All right, tonight a little bit cooler than we had last night. I think more areas in the 40s, maybe a few spots in the upper 30s, so a little chilly, but uh, not too bad for this time of year. Still some haze tomorrow, dry conditions. Mm -hmm. The rain doesn't arrive really until Wednesday night into early Thursday, mm -hmm. and Thursday's not an all-day rain event either. Otherwise, we get to the 80s of the weekend, yeah. and those rain chances are very light. Most of the period will That's be dry. That's great. Yeah, but more importantly, why were there goats They're at tight. the softball game? I don't know. As Western Iowa, I didn't even blink. Is that Our, a Wisconsin thing here? Did I get animal, a sporting event? Anytime. <laughs> okay. That I know. Thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. We'll see you at 10.